Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer and in this video we're going to talk about Lilith and Aquarius. When Lilith enters the zodiac sign of Aquarius, you have an erotically unique individual. Lilith in Aquarius allows her to really, and by her I mean Lilith, um, it allows her to express herself in the most unorthodox but authentic of ways. This is somebody who knows how to use her intellect to her own benefit and could be a bit mischievous in the way she expresses and shares her knowledge in the sense where she may admit some things just to test how well you function without knowing certain key information or still give you the information but just test how well you're able to communicate back the knowledge that you've learned. And that's because Lilith in Aquarius is a very huge sapiosexual. People with this position are extremely attracted to intelligence in others. And Lilith in Aquarius people love to see how people's minds work. But when it comes to Lilith in Aquarius, they express their erotic sexuality through their ideas, through the thoughts in their head. All right, they're very much of idea people. So the thought and idea of sex could be more exciting to them than the actual sex. But these people are still irresistibly sexy, all right? And they're not afraid to take taboo things like say porn or sex and just, I'm sorry, not sex, but um, it's provocative postures and images and really just be the face of it or rep it you know what I mean like these people love to express themselves in unique ways that no one else has done but in the sexual ways as well that even if they're not aiming to be sexual it, it, it ends up being very sexy when they express this unique part to themselves one way to turn off a little bit of Aquarius immediately is to be like everyone else once they get the whiff that you're trying to follow a trend or that you're trying to you know keep up with what's cool they're not into that these people attract very weird people what makes them weird isn't that they're crazy really it's just the people they attract in their life are so unique they're one of a kind you'll never meet someone else like that in fact that's the greatest way to attract or turn on a little of an Aquarius be different all right if you try and be different which is the other polarity some people try so hard to be different they're not into hipsters although Lilith and Aquarius people could be hipsters themselves they're not really into hipsters what they like about those who are different is that there's an authenticness to them they're not trying they literally are one of a kind so Lilith and Aquarius themselves are one of a kind. They effortlessly are able to differentiate themselves in a crowded room. You could tell because they're going to include elements of themselves that stick out in ways that other people are too afraid to do. Because one thing about Lilith and Aquarius, they are not afraid to be the rebel or the iconolas. Like they, if they want to, they might even opt to be shunned because that means they're truly not like anyone else. And they're, you know, it, bad aspects to Lilith and Aquarius can make these people feel bad about, you know, not being included. Because when you think of Aquarius and 11th house energy, you have that community aspect of connecting with everyone of, uh, in a social circle. But Lilith here could cause a rejection of that because she is so in tune with erotically expressing her uniqueness that it comes off as very weird to people but these people are very intelligent they know how to 
see through BS and think a lot of steps ahead. These people are gifted at astral travel, studying the stars, seeing how certain things in a big picture sense can influence a smaller detailed picture so they can take big concepts and break it down into little bite-sized nuggets. But they're always going to add sexual innuendo, even when they don't think they are, because Lilith and Aquarius give someone a highly erotic mind, especially in the way they piece together information. A lot of it is fun to them, say if you're a Libra, a lot they get inspiration from, say if you're a Gemini, or you embody this if you are an Aquarius yourself. Um, like I said, no, this is a very extremely difficult Lilith energy to channel. Lilith and Pisces and Lilith Aquarius are the two hardest because these are just such huge energies that you have to really develop your character in a way that it will take you over. Because Lilith and Aquarius people deal with a lot of temptation when it comes to using their own knowledge to manipulate others by lying or by omitting certain things here and there. But that's a little bit about Lilith and Aquarius. They are magnetically irresistible because of the cosmic energy of Aquarius, it makes these people very sexy, but also sensually lusty, all right? Even the most modest Lilith and Aquarius will come across this way. I hope you enjoy this video, and until next time,